absolutely will not stop. Ever. Until you are dead. Can you stop it? The Decade of Excess is responsible for some of the most impressive movie monsters in cinema. Suddenly, the horror, sci-fi, and slasher genres were augmented with more robust villains than ever before, as visual and practical effects became more innovative and realistic. Creature creators like Stan Winston and Ray Barker created monster icons for stories by directors like Wes Craven, James Cameron, and John Carpenter. These directors overhauled the cheesy aliens of the 50s, the slow-moving zombie tropes of the 60s, and the shuffling slasher archetypes of the 70s, and in their place were oppressive killing machines that couldn't be stopped. You knew that all hope would be lost if the Terminator got you in his sights, and what would you do against a demon that only attacked you in your dreams? There are a lot of monsters in movies. Some of them are so tough that they just won't stay dead. Welcome to Patrol Clip, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest things to kill in movies. Before we begin, of course, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all things Patrol Clip. Here we go. Number 10, Dragons. Even with half a heart, dragons are tough beasts. Their scaly hides resist arrows and axes, and their fiery breath is usually enough to deter would-be attackers. In fact, it often takes some unusually novel and dangerous approaches to slow one down. In the film Reign of Fire, the only tried-and-true method requires a helicopter, skydivers, and a bald-bearded, testosterone-filled Matthew McConaughey. Now, while a well-placed dwarven forged arrow can also do the trick, dragons seldom go down without an epic fight. Number 9. Mummies Mummies are made to survive the greatest killer of all, time. Being mummified doesn't seem like the most fun process ever, but there are advantages. These undead ancients can laugh off bullets and drain life from the living to regenerate their bodies. Quite a handy trick after a millennia of rotting in a sarcophagus. Mummy powers can also include the masterful manipulation of the elements. It's pretty tough to kill a monster in the middle of a desert who can use the sand itself as a weapon. Number 8. Xenomorphs In space, no one can hear you scream. Nevertheless, there would still be a lot of screaming if a xenomorph burst out of your chest while you're up there. It doesn't help that these savage beasts grow so fast, ripping apart almost every member of the Nostromo crew in the Alien movies. If you think just one xenomorph is bad, imagine what would happen if the queen unleashed a whole litter. Yeah, no, it's not good. There's really only two things in this universe that stand a chance against these aliens. One of them is Ellen Ripley, who's also pretty damn hard to kill. The other is its beastly rival, the Predator. How do we kill it? You're gone. Number 7. Deadites I'll swallow your soul! Deadites come in a variety of shapes and sizes, as these demons are able to possess humans, animals, and even trees. Yeah, trees. When Ash Williams discovers that his girlfriend's been taken over by an evil entity, he's forced to kill her with a shovel. Ping! Even after being decapitated, though, Linda is still thirsty for more. Jeez, lady, just know when to end things already. This is just one of the many examples in the Evil Dead movies that demonstrates how hard it is to lay a deadite to rest. Without the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, they're virtually impossible to stop. Of course, attaching a chainsaw to your arm will certainly keep the demonic forces at bay. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick! Number 6. Slasher Villains It doesn't matter how thoroughly you kill a slasher villain. It doesn't matter if they're dead and buried. It doesn't even matter if the movie is subtitled The Final Friday, The Final Nightmare, or The Final Chapter because Freddy, Jason, Michael, and the rest will forever live on in a dozen sequels, reboots, remakes, and crossovers. There's only one true way to kill a horror movie slasher baddie poor box office returns. 
So just an FYI for all you kids out there who want to go wandering around in the woods like an idiot. But even then, well, they may still have enough life left for a straight-to-DVD release. Or, if you're a fan of YouTube, the good old fan-made films, which are actually pretty awesome. Well, YouTubers, I'm hoping that the only thing hard to kill right now is your focus to finish this video. So please, stick around, because we've got more where that came from. <laughs> Number 5. Demons The tricky thing about demons is that they're technically not even alive, so you, you really can't kill them, but you can send them back to hell. A demon will typically possess a human host, and signs of being possessed include green decaying flesh, constant vomiting of pea soup everywhere, or unpredictable mood swings. When this happens, call upon a priest or a paranormal investigator to perform a good old-fashioned exorcism. Oh, and if you ever move into a house that may be harboring demonic spirits, it's probably best to just get the hell out of there and save yourself the whole trouble. Number 4. The Thing You could argue that The Thing belongs on another list for a top 10 hardest characters to kill in movies. As the title of this film clearly states, though, The Thing is a thing, not a character. Part of what makes this creature so unstoppable is that it can take on the appearance of pretty much anyone. You never know when this elusive menace is going to show its true colors and take another life in the most repulsively creative fashion possible. I mean, look at those effects. Ugh. As many times as our heroes shoot and burn the hell out of the thing, it just keeps getting restored. Man, that is really annoying. Apparently, however, there's no coming back from one epic explosion, though. You gotta be fucking kidding. Number three. Possessed Dolls Possessed Dolls seem to spit in the face of death. Chucky from Child's Play has been burnt up, shot to pieces, melted, blown up, cut apart, shot some more, dismembered, and stomped on. Good lord, Chucky. Just friggin' die already. Few movie characters can boast having gone through so many deaths, but thanks to powerful voodoo magic, the murderous good guy doll just keeps coming back but he's not the only dangerous doll to constantly cheat death. Whether possessed by murderers, demons, or an overkill of Christmas spirit, uh, <laughs> whoo, possessed dolls are really survivors. Number two, Kaiju. Kaiju are kind of slightly like slasher villains, except bigger. And I mean a whole hell of a lot bigger. They're usually at least about the size of a skyscraper, so, as you can imagine, killing one is no easy feat. Basically, there are two major ways for a man to overcome a kaiju. Either A, build a giant robot and duke it out, or B, throw another kaiju into the mix and let them fight it out. In either case, plan to spend millions of dollars on property damages. Also, it's always a safe bet to put your money on Godzilla. And for our number one pick for hardest things to kill in movies, bunny rabbits. No, just kidding. But, you know, according to Monty Python, they are pretty dangerous. Our number one pick, predators. You know that a creature is pretty deadly when it has even Arnold Schwarzenegger running for his life. A single predator, also known as a Yeltja, turned Arnie's team of hunters into the hunted as they enter his turf. With camouflage abilities and advanced weaponry, there's nowhere to run or hide from these extraterrestrial beings. Even if you ain't got time to bleed, one predator can rip off your arms, blast open your head, and remove your frickin' spine. And that is just so he can simply add you to his collection of trophies. How delightful. The best way to outfox a predator is to blow it up and GET THROUGH THE CHAPLER! Chopper! 
Well, guys, those are our top 10 picks for the hardest things to kill in movies. Do you think we missed anything? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for everything in the future from Patrol Clip. Also, make sure that if you do subscribe, leave your email so you can receive a free PDF on how to become a successful social media influencer. Otherwise, until next time. Swallow this.